What's up everybody, Tony with High Tech Check, and today we're going to be taking a look at a whole bunch of different watch bands for the brand new Apple Watch Series 8. This is the 45mm edition, but it'll still give you some idea of how good the watch band is, so you can purchase the size that you need for your watch. Now I will also be putting links in the description in case you guys want to pick up any of these yourself, and if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. Now I will also be putting timestamps for all these products in the description because this is going to be a lengthy video, but stick with me because it's going to be worth it. This is going to be a one-stop shop for a whole bunch of different watch bands for the brand new Apple Watch. The only thing that I ask is you guys hit that like button to show me that you care that I'm doing this for you and consider subscribing to my channel. Now this isn't going to be the last video I'm going to do like this so if you haven't subscribed definitely make sure you do and you'll get all the videos that I do put out for future releases. Now I also wanted to make sure that I had something in this pile for pretty much anybody. So I have fabric bands, I have silicone bands, I have rubber bands, I have metal bands, and I also have bands that double as cases for your Apple Watch. So no matter who you are, no matter what you like, there's going to be something in this pile that you're definitely going to want to see. So let's go ahead and see which watch bands are the worst and which ones are the best. Okay, so first off I want to show you my absolute favorite band. This is a titanium band and it's smelled by LD Fass. Now this particular band right here I've had since September of 2020. There is some wear on it but I wear this Monday through Friday religiously. Every week, every month I wear this on the weekdays. So as you can see it is black. It does have some very slight wear on the band. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But it is super sturdy. This clasp is super easy to put on. The only other thing you might be put off by is maybe uh, this off color metal part here. It kind of looks like a, like a lighter metal. Uh, but you only see it when you push the band up like that. As you can see right here it's a different color than the black band. That I don't really care because you're not gonna you're not gonna see it anyway, and the band is super light. Goes on really easy, very solid, does not feel cheap whatsoever. Uh, you just push in these little uh, buttons here, and it easily comes apart. It doesn't easily come off your hand unless you put it in those buttons, but it does easily clasp, and it is super solid. And it's only thirty five dollars. I mean, you really can't buy a better band that is this quality for that price. I'm telling you, it's my favorite. So here I have another one of those bands. This one's a little newer. I just purchased this uh, sometime this year. And this one I had on uh, my Apple Watch 6. Uh, and it's not as worn as you can see. It looks uh, definitely a lot newer. And I just put this on my 7. And it fits just perfectly. Like I said, you put it on your wrist, gives a nice clasp, uh, doesn't come off until you push those buttons. Very easy. I absolutely love this watch band and like I said, it's made of titanium. It might not be the best grade titanium, but it is titanium nonetheless and it, like I said, it is super light. Looks really nice and you can't beat it for 35 bucks. So I definitely give this band a thumbs up. All right, the next band we have is made by Sunny Woo. This is a mesh a magnetic band and it is a stainless steel. And I believe this also comes in different colors as well. Okay, so here is the band itself. It does not feel cheap at all. It feels like it's a pretty solid quality. It's not thin metal. It's very nice and sturdy. It is thick, as you can see the thickness of the band itself. It is absolutely not cheap feeling at all. It's got a nice thick band on it so it's not going to break real easy on you. Take a little closer look. Very nice. Another really nice thing about this is it has double magnets. 
so it'll keep the band in place even better. As you can see the little blue portion, that is one magnet and then also has another magnet here to keep everything uh, down on your arm, very nice. So we'll go ahead and put this on our wrist. So I do is simply uh, tighten that up and when you put down the loop, it connects to the magnet there so it's really uh, really not going anywhere there and then when you put this one down it clips to that piece as well looks pretty nice like I said it is a very nice quality and you can loosen this or tighten this tighten this up as much as you want very nice watch band and I believe this one might come in a black color as well very cool that magnet does hold the band on there very well it doesn't move on your wrist at all very nice band I would definitely give this one a thumbs up next up is the bag guard magnetic melanese loop alright so here we have that loop band again this one's in black it doesn't feel cheap feels pretty sturdy and again this one has a nice big magnet on one end but it doesn't have the dual magnet like the uh, last one did so this one you might have to undo to get it onto your wrist because it's kinda too small for mine and I can't really get it around my hand and I don't feel like breaking it okay so I got it on my wrist and as you can see it's adjustable it doesn't have a lot of adjustment but once you put it down the magnet clasps on there and it's on your wrist and it's not going anywhere either even though it has only that one uh, magnetic connection it stays on your wrist pretty nice looks pretty good so if you have a smaller hand this one will definitely feel good for you but you should not have to take it out of here to get it onto your wrist I didn't see any options for a larger one so this one's probably this one's a deal breaker for me but it is a nice Milanese loop so you just have to uh, keep in mind your wrist size or your actual hand size rather but that one looks pretty nice so I'll go ahead and give this one a thumbs up too all right next up we have one by gotten this again is a melanese loop now interesting enough this particular band is not magnetic it holds on with a clip so this should be pretty interesting okay so this one says it's for men and women but it's pretty thin uh, width wise as you can see there it does it does feel like it's a, a nice a thick metal it doesn't feel real cheap but again it's held on by this little clip here so all you need to do is pull this up you unclip that and then you can slide the one end in and out which you may or may not like I particularly don't like it but let's see how it actually reacts so it's definitely not the easiest to put on but it does seem to be staying on my wrist even though it does clip into this uh, little clasp here feels pretty nice I think it's a little too thin for my for maybe a man's wrist this would probably be better for a woman but again it feels pretty nice uh, it doesn't it doesn't come off because of the clip here is holding it in place and then if you want to take it out you just unclip the little clip here and then you can simply just slide this off your wrist it's not a bad band I particularly don't like the clasp here uh, just the way that it's held on and the way that you put it on your wrist so this one is can go either way it's not doesn't seem like it's a bad quality but I personally would not get it myself but again you might 
So for me, this is a thumbs down, but again, you can choose differently. All right, the next metal watch band we have is by Shurace. So this one comes all wrapped up in a plastic to keep it pretty nice. And it also comes with an installation uh, pick as well. So these little links are super easy to take out. There's little holes uh, all along the edge here. All you need to do is push the little pin in, slowly pull it out, and the edges will come apart. I'll show you how easy it is. So as you can see, you take the little pin, you push it into the little hole here, and then you slowly uh, pull out, and the links will slowly come apart. It's that easy, and it's, e it's just as easy to put these back together. So here we have the band. It is all adjusted right now. Looks really nice and sleek. Fits really well, and it comes apart really easy. There's these two little buttons on each side. You just simply push those in, and the watch just pops apart. Very nice. It's got that brushed metal look to it. It doesn't flex a whole lot, so as you can see, that's pretty much as much as it'll go. It's not super flexible, but it does look really nice. And it clips on very easily. Couple clips, and it doesn't move. Very nice. So I definitely go ahead and give this one a thumbs up. All right, next up we have the Full Mosa stainless steel band. So this one looks pretty nice. It comes just like this. It looks like it has a little case that it comes with. You got your tools. A little tool to push out the little metal rods. Got some extra rods in there. Our little other tool here. And here is the metal band itself. I will tell you right off the bat that this uh, is a pretty heavy band. Seems pretty solid. And again, it is uh, the stainless steel. And here is the little protective cover that it comes with. It is made of uh, very smushy plastic. Feels very cheap, looks pretty cheap. Uh, I don't know that I would even use this, but it comes with it. So the way that this works is you see on the band here how it has these arrows pointing this way. That's the way you're going to push out the little pins on the side here. So really all you need to do is stick this in here and line the arrow or the little hole up with the little uh, metal pin here and just start to screw in until the pin comes out. And as you can see, the little pin starting to push through the other side, right there. And we'll just push that all the way in until we can't do it anymore. Then we'll back this out. You might need some, like some pliers or something. But as you can see, the pin is out there. So if we can just pull this, yeah. So it just comes right out like that. And then your watch band comes apart. And the other really interesting thing is if you look at the bottom here, it's got these little rods that you can kind of pick out and these become adapters. So you can kind of put this band on maybe something else if you wanted to. All right, so everything's all installed. As you can see, it fits on the watch perfectly fine. Looks really nice too. Again, it is doesn't feel cheap at all. Feels really nice. So it's got these two little pieces on the side here. You just push in and it unclips from the band. So you can take it off and then it clips on really nice as well. Very nice, satisfying clip. Again, like I said, it's not coming off. It does not feel cheap. It feels like a pretty uh, solid band. So if you like silver, this stainless steel band would probably be really good for you. As you can see, it's pretty thick, nice and solid. I would definitely give this watch band a thumbs up. I'm trying to get this little case on my watch and it's, it's proving to be a little difficult. I probably wouldn't even bother with it. It's so cheap, I would just get something else. All right, next up is the Spigen Modern Fit Metal Band. 
So here is the band itself. I will tell you that this band looks like some of the other non-name brand metal bands that I've gotten off of Amazon, except for Spigen has put their logo on it. I mean, there's really nothing super special about this band other than, you know, the logo. So you can probably find this exact band maybe a little cheaper off Amazon somewhere else. But there is the band itself. It also comes with some extra links and some extra rods. And we also have a metal tool for uh, taking apart the bands, which is pretty nice. So again, this metal band here has these little arrows on it telling you which ways to push out the little pins. And it also comes apart at the side here. As you can see, that little pin, you just pull down on it and this little adapter comes off of the metal band. So you, technically, you can use these ends with pretty much any uh, metal band that you want that fits in this little area here and I think it says 22 millimeter on that bag so pretty much any normal 22 millimeter band will work with this little adapter as well. Okay so see I've pushed, pushed out a couple of the rods all I need to do now is just kind of pull them apart and the band uh, comes apart as well. Okay so here is the watch band all put together. Go ahead and slide it on my wrist. It does have a nice clip Again, it's not going to move around your hand. Again, it's not the best band. It feels a little cheap to me. It's not very sturdy. Like, it kind of um, moves around a little bit. But it doesn't look bad. It's got a nice uh, brushed metal on it. Again, it has these this nice clasp on the bottom here. Very satisfying clip, it's not gonna come off. It doesn't look bad, but like I said, you can probably find it a little cheaper somewhere else on Amazon, and it, it looks just like this, but it just doesn't have the Spigen logo. And as you can see, my hands are a little hairy, and it doesn't uh, grab onto any of my hair either, which is pretty nice. So, definitely not a bad watch. I'll give it a thumbs up, but there is probably better. All right, so next up we have the L Kitty Leather Magnetic Strap Band. This one feels pretty cool. All these little uh, <laughs> little notches here are magnets. <laughs> feels really cool. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and put that on. Very interested to see how this works. So I clip on pretty easily looks pretty nice. Go ahead and put it on our wrist. So you might have a little issue maybe getting this super tight, but it's on my wrist. It's it's a, just a little loose. Uh, but again, it's not going anywhere because it has a lot of surface area for the magnets to grab onto because every single one of these little notches is a magnet to hold it in place. So it's not going anywhere. And it's so cool. <laughs> it just grabs onto the underside. So cool. Very nice. Smells like leather. Very cool looking. And again, it seems like the only problem that you're going to have is maybe getting it super tight on your wrist if that's how you like it. But again, it doesn't look like it's going anywhere and it goes really well with that black uh, midnight color. I, I, could, I think this is like a fidget toy too. I could just sit there and play with these magnets all day. Not too bad at all. I rather like this. It's pretty neat. Very classy. I definitely give this one a thumbs up. Okay, so next up we have a leather magnetic band by I and I. It, I guess, it does kind of smell like leather. It smells kind of weird, but anyway, it looks really cool. Feels pretty nice. We'll go ahead and peel this apart. I'll go ahead and put it on our watch. All right, there it is. Looks pretty cool. It is very um, flimsy. 
Uh, it's not stiff, so it should conform to your wrist uh, really nice. The particular one that I got um, seems to be a little big. Um, so if you have bigger wrists, this will be great for you. But if you have smaller wrists, then uh, you're probably going to want to get the other one. It doesn't... If I put this... If I put the bottom portion on top of the other one, it doesn't seem to stick hardly at all. So you need to stick it underneath the other one and it, it clips right on. So there is a certain way that you need to put this band on. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take this off again and we'll go ahead and do this one more time. I wasn't aware that it went on a certain way. So we'll just go ahead and slide these on. So if you think it's not working right, uh, just know that you need to put the band a certain way uh, and then it'll be just fine. So it is rather big, so it's a little it's a little bit more difficult to get a nice tight fit. But there we go. Okay. So that does look really cool. Yeah, so as you can see, snaps right onto your wrist really cool now this does come in a whole bunch of other different colors as well so if you don't like gray there's definitely going to be a color that you do like it is pretty loose on my wrist because i didn't get it super tight feels really nice because it does conform to my wrist it's like i said before it's not very stiff looks really cool and again if you like to fidget you'll probably end up playing with this uh, band more than anything <laughs> feels really nice the only thing I would be concerned about is that it is kind of thin between these magnets so I uh, don't know how long this might last but it seems like a really nice watch band it doesn't seem cheap at all like I said it just it's kind of thin uh, between the magnets so uh, how long it'll last is kind of questionable, but for now it seems like a really nice band. As you can see how I was talking about the uh, thinness between the magnets. Very flexible, but again, it does look pretty nice. It doesn't feel cheap at all. And just to confirm, I did get the large band. Um, if So if you have smaller wrists, you probably might want to get the smaller band but if you have thicker ones then this uh, might be the band for you very cool actually I like this band more than uh, the other magnetic uh, leather band so that's saying something so I would definitely buy this again and I definitely recommend it to you so it's gonna get a thumbs up alright next up we have AM bands leather strap band so they do smell like real leather, which is always nice. Slides on very easily. So it is a, a little stiff. It doesn't, but it doesn't feel uh, uncomfortable. Again, like the leather uh, straps you're going to get, you're going to need to break it in a little bit. It does seem kind of just maybe just a little thin for my wrist. I kind of like it just a little bit thicker, but doesn't look too bad there's the buckle underneath this part here the little clasp does seem a little little cheap could be a little thicker just for some some more support but the leather itself seems like it's pretty nice if I was going to get a leather band it would probably not be this one <laughs> so I would probably go ahead and say I'm going to give this one a thumbs down. Just because I like a little more uh, meaty clasp here, just to be sure, just in case your watch gets caught on something, you don't want this to just break off and then you lose your watch without even knowing. Next up, we have the AI Parafull uh, Fabric Solo Loop. So here is the fabric band itself. It does feel cheap, but then again, so does the Apple one. Here is the original OEM Apple band. They feel pretty much the same. This one might be just a, just a little bit cheaper feeling, but these ends are both plastic. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> like I said before in my unboxing video, this, 
this band by Apple is like the cheapest one they've ever made, like like Amazon quality, which I have right here. I'm telling you guys, <laughs> this band feels exactly like the Apple Watch, but at a fraction of the price. I mean, it has it has two parts to the Velcro, which the Apple one doesn't. I'll give them that. It has a little Velcro strip here to hold that particular part down. Then it has the other uh, Velcros at the end. So it's holding it in two places, which is one more than the Apple band. It doesn't look horrible. I mean, especially for the price that you're paying. It's definitely not bad. And because, because it is just like the Apple quality, I don't know what to say. I mean, I don't really care for the Apple one. It feels cheap. So for that reason, I would go ahead and give this a thumbs down. But if you like these kinds of bands from Apple, I would just not waste your money on the Apple one and get these instead. But for me, I would probably tell you to stay away from these bands. That's just my personal preference because they feel cheap. Even the Apple one, I tell you to stay away from. But if you like these bands, buy these instead of the Apple. Save a lot of money. So here we have another sport loop band. This one is Rose. Again, this one feels just like the Apple band. They kind of feel cheap to me, but again, it's got the double places for the uh, Velcro, which is always nice. So there is the Rose Pink. Again, it feels exactly like the Apple band. This one holds in place in two areas as well. So you kind of make it as tight as you want there and then just put that on and it holds really well. It doesn't come off. Again, me personally, I would stay away from these bands even for Apple, but if you if you like these bands, again, save your money on Apple and buy something like this off Amazon and you save a lot of money. But for me, I would tell you to stay away from these bands. Next up, we have the Bagel Plus Braided Soft Band. So here is the band itself. It is not magnetic. It doesn't have Velcro. It holds in place with a clip. It is also stretchy. But it's not made of rubber. It's made of like a fabric. But it's just a stretchy fabric. So I think the way that this is supposed to work is you don't adjust it when it's on your hand. You kind of adjust it beforehand. So this little piece here pops up just like that. You pull this or you pull the other end to shorten or length it to, to where you want it. Then you just simply clip that back down and then you just put this over your wrist. Kind of like the solo, a solo loop that Apple sells. So you might have to mess around with it for a little bit to try to make it fit the way that it is. But it's not too bad. I don't particularly like the solo loop, but if you do, uh, you might like this braided band. It's it's not too bad. It, it doesn't feel premium, but it doesn't feel super cheap. And these do come in uh, multiple colors as well. So if you like the braided loop, good. I, I said before, uh, it doesn't feel cheap, but it doesn't feel premium as well. So for the braided solo loop band, I'll give this one a thumbs up. All right, next up we have some silicone bands. This is uh, this comes in a four pack. There are different colors. It's just that this is the pack that I got. They kind of look like the Nike bands uh, that Apple sells, which is pretty cool, but it's a fraction of the price. And these are by A Dome. So here we have the different colors that I got. I'm particularly partial to the black and the green one. So we'll go ahead and try that on. These are silicone bands. They do feel great. They feel just like the Apple ones. They don't feel cheap. Nice and bendy. Clip on there really nice. They're very easy to put on. And I love the fact that they do have that little extra loop uh, at the bottom as well. As you can see, they look <laughs> really nice, just, just like the Apple one. They feel nice and soft as well. 
They're, they feel good on your wrist. So if you like these types of Apple bands, these are definitely a thumbs up because like I said, you get a four pack for a fraction of the price you're gonna get one from Apple. So if you love these types of silicone bands, <laughs> definitely pick these up and uh, save your money from getting the Apple one. These are just as good. Next up we have the Adepoi Rugged Silicone Band. This one feels pretty cool and it looks rugged. I, this one also comes in different colors as well. Most of the bands that I'm showing you here today do come in different colors, so definitely make sure you check out the link if you're interested in getting a different color. Slides on the watch very nicely. Looks really nice on the wrist. Very cool, it's got that nice metal clip on the side there. It's got that nice rugged texture to it. It's a very soft silicone. Feels really nice on the hand. And again, it's not going anywhere. It's on your hand pretty nice. So if you wanna, you know, go do some outdoor stuff, this band would probably be really good for you. Looks really nice with the black. And it comes off really easy. Just pull that out and unhook it. It's got a nice beefy uh, metal clasp at the end here. Feels really good in the hand. Nice and soft silicone. Does not feel cheap at all. So if you were looking to go do some outdoor stuff, this is probably going to be a good band for you. I definitely give this one a thumbs up. All right, next up we have some case bands. This one's made by J63. So this one comes with this feels like a plasticky case type. And then it has a silicone band here. So let's see if we can put the watch in here. I'm really not sure why these cases are so hard to put uh, over this watch. The only thing I can think of is that they weren't made for the 7 themselves and it just comes with uh, the watch because it is super hard to get on I would probably just tell you to stay away from this altogether, but we're gonna go ahead and continue with the band anyway. So the band itself is made out of a silicone material. It does look it does look kind of cool, but the clasp and everything here feels kind of cheap. So not too horrible. It's not the best band. I'm not a huge fan of it. Like I said, I like the way that it looks, but as far as uh, the materials that are made, it feels kind of feels kind of cheap. Doesn't feel bad on your wrist. Feels pretty comfortable. And when you push this through uh, the band through the little end here, it's got this little notch, so it keeps it uh, from coming out super easy, which is you know it's nice. But because of this. And the way that this feels, I would probably tell you to stay away from it. So I'm going to give this band a thumbs down. Next up, we have a cover band by Clayco. So this one looks pretty rugged. The watch actually just pushes into the bottom portion here. So go ahead and take this and we'll push it into the bottom. Clips in there very nice. And it does feel like it's in there. I don't believe it's going to just pop out, which is nice. It's got a nice raised edge around the front of your phone. So if you happen to knock it into something, it'll protect the screen. The bands feel like they're like a plasticky kind of silicone material. It's got this huge clasp on the end. So I do believe there is a couple colors for this watch as well. The case does definitely make the watch that much bigger. If you can see how much it sticks off my wrist. It, it definitely protects your watch better, but you're going to have a much bigger uh, surface area on your wrist. It's got a, that nice rubber piece protecting the front. There's the band on the bottom. Definitely... Uh, nice, big, and beefy, especially for a man's wrist. It's all, you know, that rubbery uh, silicone material. This is plastic here. Rubber on the top, plastic on the sides. Power button 
very nice and clicky. You can still access the crown uh, and turn it if you need. It's not super prominent. So we can push in the crown very easy and to rotate it, not, not too bad. It's not as easy as it was when there was no case on there, but um, you, can still, you can still scroll in and out if you need to. That power button works really well. Very nice. So if you want a really rugged watch band that also protects your watch, this is definitely one you're going to want to take a look at. So I'll go ahead and give this one a thumbs up. All right, next up we have the Spigen Duro Pro Flex. So this is a fabric band. These, these clasps right here are super beefy. Like they feel like, like mountain climbing beefy. But the fabric itself is just as cheap as the Apple one. So, I mean, the only thing that makes this stand out is this clasp on here that's super, super strong. All right, so there it is on the watch. I'll go ahead and put it on my wrist and see how it feels. This does have Velcro on it as well. This does kind of feel like a pain in the butt uh, to try to get on your wrist. Uh, but once you do, you just kind of put this down and it Velcros to the other side here. It just doesn't make sense to make the band cheap and then have this super premium metal piece on the end. And what does it really do? I mean, it, it sticks off the watch and can probably get caught on things. It just kind of looks... Kind of looks weird. It's a good concept, but I think it's just, it's too big or maybe in the wrong spot. Maybe if it was uh, underneath your wrist or something, but having it stick off the side like that, I don't know about that. Again, like I said, it feels cheap, just like the Apple Watch band. And to get it off, like I said, it's got the Velcro underneath, which holds on there pretty good. Doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. Uh, to get it off, you just kind of like lift up on this. And then I guess lift up on this piece here and it just maybe comes out a little easier. I don't know. I'm not a, not a huge fan of this clasp thing. It doesn't really have much functionality that I can see other than to maybe make you go crazy trying to put this on your wrist. Cool idea, but it just, it's not functional. So I would probably say stay away from this band and I'm gonna give it a thumbs down. Okay, next up we have the Spigen Light Fit. So this is going to be a fabric stretchy type material. It's kind of like the Apple Solo Loop, but it's made out of a material instead of silicone. It does have a metal piece right here, and the ends that go into your watch are made of plastic. Now this kind of seems like the band that you kind of set the size and then just kind of slip it over your hand so it might not be that easy to get it, you know, really tight uh, around your wrist without it being uncomfortable to try to get on. So I kind of, the way that you set this is you just kind of pull the loop uh, as much or as little as you need on here. So I'm going to make it just a little bit tighter and then you kind of just stretch it and put it over your hand. So it's like that on your wrist. It doesn't really move a lot. Um, it's pretty comfortable, but the only thing that I don't like is that I have a ring and it might scratch the underside of my watch as I'm trying to get it off and on, which can get uh, get pretty annoying. But it's it's not a bad band. Again, the, mis the most annoying thing about it is gonna be to try to get it uh, on and off your hand, especially if you're wearing a metal ring but again like I said it is comfortable it looks uh, pretty nice well I don't know how long that stretch will last with you you know putting it off and on your hand you'll probably have to tighten it uh, every so often because it will get just a little stretched out but so for me I would probably tell you to stay away from this band simply because of it uh, being annoying trying to get off and on your hand and we don't know how long that's the band is going to last with you uh, stretching it over your hand but it's not the worst fabric band that I've seen so if you want to try it out 
you know, go for it. But for me, it's not going to be something that I would suggest. So next up, we have the Spigen Rugged Band. So this is a two-piece a silicone feeling band. It is uh, pretty thick. It's got a nice big uh, clasp on the end, which I like. And there's your holder right there. So just kind of slip this into your watch. Okay, so there is the band. Doesn't look too bad, looks pretty nice. We'll go ahead and try it on our wrist. So it is a nice, big, thick band. Again, it does feel like that soft rubber type material. It is pretty comfortable. I do love the fact that they put a nice, big, beefy clasp on there. So if, if something catches on your band, it's not going to rip off uh, the end here. It seems like it stays in place. It doesn't move. It looks pretty good. I actually like this band and it's on there pretty good. It kind of clips into place with these little ridges on the bottom with the holder. And it also has a little, if you can see in there, there's a little notch that kind of fits into the holes here to extra keep the band in place, which is always great. So there went in the little notch and it holds in. So this won't just come out just kind of like other ones it's in there really well so if that's what you like then this band is definitely for you I like the band definitely it seems pretty sturdy seems like it's a uh, really well made and again the fact that the extra band is not just going to slip out is definitely a plus and it's got some uh, carbon fiber inlay there make it look extra rugged Very cool band, got that soft uh, rubber feel to it. I, I do actually like this band. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a thumbs up. Okay, so here we have the Spigen Rugged Armor Case. Now this says it works with the 44 millimeter, but we're gonna go ahead and see if it works with the 45 Series 7. So here is the case itself. It is made of all uh, rubbery type of material. It's that smooth rubber, it's not the grippy rubber. So you can see it covers the whole sides. It's got a nice little raised edge on the front here. There's no bulging. So you can see there's the power button and the crown. And then on the back, it covers a pretty significant portion of the bottom. So we're also gonna test to see if it works with your wireless charger. So we'll go ahead and put this on. Now this case does work with uh, any of your bands. The band just slides in. Uh, on each side of the watch and that's what it looks like on your wrist so we'll see how well the crown works go ahead and press that in so the crown seems to be working just fine how does the power button work very simply no issues whatsoever perfect so this will work with the series 7 45 millimeter so you can see it does add a little bulk uh, to you, to the watch, but if you want protection, that's that's what you have to have. And it's got your cutouts for your speakers. So now let's go ahead and test it out with the wireless charger. See how well that works. So here we have our Series 7 wireless charger. I'll go ahead and put it under the watch. And as you can see, there are no issues whatsoever. No problems connecting uh, with the bottom of your watch. So you don't have to worry about, will this work with the wireless charger? You know that it does. Now, one thing that I did not anticipate is because the, the case covers the bottom, once you snap in your band, there's no easy way to push in that little button to get your band out. It's got these little, these little things right here that look like they would push in, but I'm having some trouble getting the band off now, which is not good. So I did get the band off. It was a little bit harder than normal, but if you do happen to have a band that is hard to get out, even with this case on, you might have even more trouble if not not being able to take it off. So that's something to keep in mind. Seems to do exactly what it says it does. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this case a thumbs up. 
All right, and then here we have the Spigen Tough Armor case. So this is a two-piece design, so all you need to do is take off the plastic top piece first, then push the watch in through the top, and then put the plastic cover back over it. So the box says that it's only for the 44 millimeter, but online it says that it's for the seven. And clearly it's going to be too big because as you can see, the plastic clips do not reach the other side. They will only do one side. So this particular case is not going to work for the seven. If you have a five or six, it should be just fine. And it seems to protect your watch uh, pretty much 360 degrees. It's got a nice, you know, outer ridge here. But for the seven, this is definitely going to have to be a thumbs down because it doesn't fit. And last but not least, we have the Spigen Liquid Air Pro in a blue and a black color. So right off the bat, this band feels really nice. It is totally wrapped up in silicone. So right off the bat, this band feels really nice. It is totally made of silicone. It's nice and soft and very flexible. All you need to do is put your push your Apple Watch in through the bottom here and it keeps it in place so there's no bands to take on and off, which I personally like. This clasp at the end here is, is beefy. It feels pretty thick, so you don't have to worry about that uh, falling apart. So let's go ahead and put our watch in here. So you kind of just push it in uh, through the back here, put it in uh, one side and then push in the other side and then it just kind of fits in place. Very nice. And it also protects the front of your watch because it has that raised, raised edge on it, as you can see on the top and the bottom. Now, one thing I will tell you is this says 44 millimeter on the back. And if you look on top here, it's kind of bulging because I think the watch is too big for this band. It's not actually meant for it. It kind of works. But again, like I said, I don't think that it's it's not made for this watch. So it bulges. It doesn't bulge on one end, but on the other, it is bulging, as you can see in the corners. And that is kind of unfortunate because this is a really uh, nice band. Yeah, that is really nice. It feels uh, really good. It's on your wrist. It is not going to fall out because not only do you have the clasp, but it, it folds underneath the other band. I really do like the way that this looks. It gives you 360 degree protection. It is kind of unfortunate that it's not made for the 45 millimeter though, even though it said that it was. This is a really nice band. So if they make one, eventually maybe if that fits the 45 millimeter, this would probably be a nice band to get. So my scroll is not working because the rubber part is pinching against the crown. So, <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like this band is going to work for the 7, so I'm going to go ahead and have to, unfortunately, give this one a thumbs down as much as I do like it. Okay, so just as a test, I have my uh, Apple Watch 5 here, which is 44 millimeter, and it fits beautifully. As you can see, there's no bulging on either end. It just fits perfectly, so... If you have an Apple Watch 5 or 6, it'll definitely fit really well in this band, and I would definitely recommend it for that. But if you're looking to get it for your Series 7, stay away from it. And in case you were wondering, this is what the blue looks like. This one is pretty nice too. It's got the gray underside with the blue top. So that's pretty much it for all the best and worst watch bands for the Apple Watch Series 8.
If you guys have stuck with me this far, thank you so much for all of your support. I really appreciate it. And if you guys want to show me that you appreciate that I did the video for you, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. And I will also be putting links in the description for all these watch bands in case you guys want to pick them up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products at your reviews for you guys. Again, I really want to sincerely say thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to let you guys know when i put out new videos thank you guys for watching i hope you have a great day and i'll see you in the next one later